Well, at the time you're watching this, you're probably into May. Uh, we do have a big announcement coming soon. Uh, that's why, if you notice, our content is a, is a little light. Uh, we have something major that's coming, but you'll have to be patient and wait on it. So be sure to subscribe at the bottom here on all of our social media platforms, and uh, you'll get our acknowledgments when the announcement is coming. So with May and the changes that it's going to be happening to q to cast TV and that man with the show, uh, we got uh, the Memorial Day weekend coming. The, the theatrical, you know, they say, you know, you, you got the barbecues, beaches, amusement parks, uh, you know. And then, of course, you know, you well, we don't have that many big movies coming out this year. We got one particular one that's out there. Uh, it's a uh, sequel to the Mad Max saga. It's Furiosa, which, you know, it's going to be <laughs> not that great. Uh, you know, you got Chris Hem Hemsworth, Tom Hardy, Anna Taylor-Joy, uh, Nicholas Holt. They're all going to be in this particular movie. But like every other blockbuster that is out there, you're going to find that on occasion, well always more than often that there's going to be some sort of parody done and mo a lot of times you'll see uh, you'll see uh, a comedy independent film uh, that will do a parody of it you know something like you know 300 had meet the meet the Spartans uh, or an episode of Family Guy or the Simpsons will do a parody of it as well. Um, sometimes you'll get, sometimes, uh, well, when Conan was around, he used to do a, a bit of an opening parody. He did an opening parody to his Comic-Con uh, from the uh, other Mad Max movie. Uh, but one other group does parodies of these films. And can you take a guess which one that is? Yeah, that's right. The adult film industry or the porn industry, as they say. And since the release is coming toward the Memorial Day weekend, uh, as of right now, and you could see this right now, uh, the company Cosplay Playground, uh, they uh, one of the big companies that do a lot of these parodies. Well, they're going to be doing their version of this Mad Max film. Furiosa, a triple X porn parody. So we're going to read a little bit into this directly from AVN. In celebration of the hotly anticipated upcomer summer action pick Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, skin influential media cosplay and porn parody focused site cosplayplayground.com has begun to roll out his very first feature, Furioso triple X a porn parody. Produced in partnership with a Canadian production company, No Monkeys, the four-part parody kicked off on Friday, April 19th, with part one, Finding Furiosa, starring Maddie Collins, Allison Ray. Additional episodes will follow every Friday. Part four will be releasing on May 24th, the same day Furioso, a Mad Mad Saga, hits theaters in North America. The production cast includes Frey Parker, Sophia Locke, Locke, uh, Mia Angel, Danny Steele, Zane, uh, Zane Walker, and AVN Hall of Famer Evan Stone <laughs> as the villainous Immortal Joe. Yeah, I could see Evan Stone doing this role. Is crazy, you know. If you know Evan Stone, the movies he's done, yeah, uh, that's Immortal Immortal Joe. The coming Furiosa film by far it, the most anticipated movie of the summer. Yeah, because there's nothing else to see. Uh, the only thing we're waiting for is like Beetlejuice said a company rep and we knew we had to step up our game to meet the moment we think that adult fans and post-apocalyptic genre fans alike are going to love what they see from our latest and greatest original production cosplayground launched in september 23 with two original programs the boys and wednesday x triple x porn parody based on the popular superhero and horror streaming show the boys was directed by eli cross and featured casey calvert michael vegas and dylan day Diaz, while Harry Sparks directed Wednesday, starring Alex Cole as the original goth girl Wednesday Adams. Their third uh, original program, Street Fighter uh, Point X, starred Jade Kush as the fan favorite street girl, 
Street Fighter Girl uh, Chung Lee debuted in December, followed by Mean Girls in January, in January starring Chloe Kin- Kingsley, Skylar Storm, and Donnie Rock. The company returned to the superhero genre in February uh, with MCU parody, which we, we told you here, The Marvels, uh, starring Blake Blossom, Anna Fox, and Ray Bell before getting into the world of the supernatural with March's Ghostbusters Triple X porn parody starring Canel, Chanel Cameron, Anna Claire Clouds, and Avery Black. Later this year, Cos- Cosplayground is set to launch its community section for aspiring cosplay creators, including a marketplace where they can sell their old and new cosplay content on a VO the basis for more information you know you can go to cosplay dot playground dot com well you know you know evan stone one of the great veterans out there that's going on there teaming up with maddie collins and allison ray you know and there are a lot of you know popularity to these parodies we can and you know we've discussed this before these parodies go back years you know, I mean, they're, they're still the, exclu- the elusive Mar- Super Mario Brothers one, which Nintendo uh, has forced off the market. But still, there are VHS copies out there. Uh, you got everything from the Beverly Hillbillies to Saved by the Bell, uh, Star Wars, uh, you know, the Avengers, Iron Man. You know, you, you have I mean, Exorcist. I mean, there's the Exorcist. Uh, you know, another one of the big things now with a lot of the cosplay uh, parodies and also regular uh, adult films is the horror genre has taken like a big leap that they've been uh, several companies have come forward that they're doing uh, movies that are sort of almost parodies. Some uh, they're sort of parodies, but they're individual stories that have nothing to do with the original uh Similar to that movie, uh, that hit, that hit horror comedy Slither, if you remember that movie, uh, which is really good. If you haven't seen that one, it's a really good horror film. Uh, but uh, they have their own versions of it, but different storylines, nothing to do with the original story that was written for this movie. But they've taken that and kind of expanded also on uh, some of the hentai. Um, movies that you get in japan and added that into uh these live action movies as well and you know the tentacle uh what they call tentacle porn (laughs) also uh which is like it gets outrageous it gets sloppy uh you know hey listen no offense but you know people you know there are people out there that will watch this they'll watch it for shits and giggles Eh, so other people they'll get it you know it, it knocks their rocks off it's to each to them that's why I say there is always, you know, when it comes to the pornographic industry, as long as it, you know, doesn't have children in it, it's just like everything else. It's, you know, it's artistic when it comes to it. Some of it, yeah, it gets over the top. And that's where the the slide between the art, art and being disgusting um, goes to. But, hey, listen. It is what it is. It's been, and pornography has been around for, God, yeah, for, <laughs> you know, you know, when they were writing on cave walls. So tell me in the comments below your thoughts about this. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.